Hi, so I hope you're all doing great and uh, I'd like to show you something uh, really interesting because last day one of my friends asked me how can you actually win at cards? Uh, first of all, that's a very nice way of asking how can you actually cheat at cards? All I can actually say is that it all comes down to uh, controlling certain cards. If you can control uh, at least one card, then you have an advantage uh, over the opponent. And obviously the more cards that you can control, the more edge uh, you can actually give yourself. So uh, I'd like to show you a method that are sometimes used by card cheats to actually control the cards okay so uh, to demonstrate this i will actually try and uh, control maybe uh, four cards okay so let's say maybe uh, we'll use the uh, four aces uh, to demonstrate this okay but keep in mind that in actual situation uh, a cheater will uh, never actually uh, control need to control four cards in fact he will never even attempt to control four cards not only because of its uh, practical difficulty but also because it's uh, totally unnecessary you not know, to mention the fact that uh, giving yourself something uh, as spectacular as the four aces could be uh, really suspicious but since we are really demonstrating this uh, we might as well uh, take it down to the extreme okay also uh, another important thing is that uh, cheetah will never actually take out the cards just like uh, i did right now that will be uh, really suspicious in fact, uh, the sporting happens uh, during a previous game when the cards are all face up and uh, from there on he would simply keep track of them during uh, shuffles and cuts. Now that actually brings us an interesting question. How can you actually keep track of the cards during uh, shuffles and cuts? And uh, that is what I am actually going to show you next, okay? So uh, listen carefully. If I actually uh, take the ace, okay, place it over here and uh, cut it into the deck. Now you can say that uh, that ace is actually lost. But you also know that it is somewhere near the bottom third. Now if I take the second ace uh, and also cut it uh, into the deck, and you can say that uh, the second ace is actually lost. But the more important thing is that the first ace that we put in has moved somewhere near the top third. And uh, that is what is known as uh, keeping track of the cards. And uh, obviously the more cards that actually come into play, the more uh, complicated uh, this actually gets. Because uh, at this point that first ace we put in is uh, somewhere near the center and as I said at the beginning to control uh, four cards is something that is uh, rarely attempted but since I did uh, promise you I will uh, give it a shot okay now uh, at this point uh, all four aces are scattered uh, throughout the deck right actually uh, to make this even more challenging I will give and give the deck a shuffle as well okay now I want you to see that this is indeed uh, a fair shuffle okay from the very top to the very bottom in fact, you can actually uh, shuffle this yourself, okay? It really doesn't matter. And uh, at this point, uh, what a typical cheater would do is that he might give the deck uh, four shuffles and uh, during each shuffle, he'll actually try to control one card. But I don't want to waste your time. I do it uh, all at once. And uh, that is how you control uh, four cards. And But as I said at the beginning, the more cards that you can control, the more uh, advantage you can actually have. So uh, I will try this one more time, but this time, instead of controlling 4 cards, I will try to control uh, 48 cards. Now to do that, first I need to memorize the position of all 48 cards. And uh, this will actually take uh, a few moments, okay, so uh, you will actually have to uh, bear with me, okay. Now, I know that you don't actually uh, believe that uh, I can actually memorize that many cards in a uh, very short time, but I actually can because uh, I'm actually uh, been studying memory systems so let me just uh, recall okay yeah I think I got it okay now uh, we will place the ace uh, in uh, different parts okay scattered throughout and you can see that the aces are going in uh, different parts and you can actually uh, square this okay well, it doesn't matter now uh, keep in mind that uh, I'm actually trying to control the 48 cards around the four aces okay so uh, that is one of the most difficult thing that there is but i'll give it a try okay now you saw how difficult it was just to uh, keep track of 48 cards so imagine trying to control or keeping track of 48 cards now, if you think that difficult uh, imagine doing all that in just uh, two shuffles uh, you have to imagine all that because uh, can actually do that in two shuffles I need uh, more than that in fact I need uh, three shuffles uh, but uh, 
nothing more okay three shuffles and uh, that's it but of course uh, after the shuffle uh, the deck has to be cut right actually let me uh, stop at this point because uh, right now I know that uh, there are exactly two aces in this half and two aces in this half in fact I can go further ahead and say that there are exactly uh, 26 cards in this half and uh, 26 cards in this half in fact I can say with 100% uh, certainty that uh, every card in this half are actually red and every card in this half are actually black with the exception of two red aces over here and two black aces over here and uh, that is how you can roll uh, 48 cards and uh, I hope you enjoyed it